Hello and welcome to the Bring Tone and Bring Tone Pro tutorial. Before we start, I'd just like to note that the frame rate of this recording is quite low. This is most noticeable during scrolling, so I want to apologise in advance. The Bring Tone family of Android apps allows a user to create one or more playlists of ringtones. As you receive new phone calls, the app cycles through the songs in your selected playlists. You can assign a playlist to be the phone's default ringtone or as the ringtone of individual contacts. The app comes with a selection of ringtones provided courtesy of the Jackass Penguin Show band. As you can see from the application icon on screen, I am using Bringtone Pro to demonstrate the app. This is the same as the free version except for differences I mentioned at the end of the video. When the app is run first, it will prompt you to change your default ringtone. If you don't wish to change your ringtone at this time, press Don't Set. Most people, however, running the app probably intend changing their ringtone and should select Set. I'll give you a quick overview of the app's screens next. First is the main screen, which is currently displayed. This is where you create and delete playlists. You will also assign which playlists to use as default or contact specific ringtones here. Next is the Playlist Editor. This opens any time you create a playlist by pressing the plus button down the bottom right hand corner or if you wish to open an existing list by selecting one of the existing playlists. Up near the top of the screen you can give the playlist a title. You can also add songs using one of the plus buttons on the right. Songs can be deleted as well or reordered using drag and drop. As you can see, some of the buttons in this screen are currently disabled. That is just because this is the pre-installed playlist and editing of this list is limited. Finally, there is the application information screen, which exists primarily to provide help for the user. Now I will provide step-by-step -step instructions for performing some common tasks. First, I will show you how to create a new playlist. Press the plus button at the bottom of the screen. Now, near the top of the screen, enter a playlist name. We'll, we'll call this one Friends. Now let's add a few songs. Press the plus button in the top right corner to add music one song at a time. On this phone, this action will take you into a music picker. But if you've more than one music picking application installed, you may first be given the choice of which one to use. I'll now add a few songs in this manner. Bringtone and Bringtone Pro also allow you to add many songs at once by pressing the Add Multiple Songs button, also at the top of the screen, which opens a file browser. Now we can navigate to a folder on my phone that I know contains some music. As you can see, one button on the bottom allows you to select all songs in this folder, while the other button allows you to also add songs to different subfolders. That can take a while to finish depending on how many files are in the folder you select, so if it does take too long you can cancel at any point by pressing the phone's back button. The apps also allow you to, to select and add one song at a time from the file browser. So let's go up to the multi-song add button once more and add a song individually. So I'll add song number 4, Awakening. As you can see, Awakening is now in the playlist twice. To delete a song, just press one of the delete, the delete buttons on the right hand side of the screen. Songs can also be reordered using drag and drop. You drag one of the drag handles here on the left of the screen up or down. So I'll drag Moon Walls up near the top of the playlist.
You can play a song in the playlist by press the big song button in the middle. So to play Moon Waltz, I just press the button here. Notice how not only has the song begun playing, but also a green indicator has appeared on the button. This shows the user which song will be played the next time the phone rings. When you play a song, that song will become the current playlist song. Pressing the song button again will stop the music playing, but the current song indicator remains. Now I just need to create one more playlist for use later in the video. Now to assign a playlist is the default ringtone. Press the set default button near the top of the main screen. This shows a list of the phone's ringtones, including our own playlists in italics. Select the one you want and press OK. Now I'll test this by ringing my phone. And now I'll hang up. See how a message appears indicating the ringtone has changed. So that when I ring again we get a different song. Setting a ringtone playlist for one of your contacts is somewhat similar. First press the Contacts button. Pick a contact. Now the same ringtone picker appears as before. So now we can set a different ringtone for this person. I press OK again. Finally, notice that the main screen shows which ringtones are being used for which person. So, Ali is associated with the family ringtone, or the family playlist, and the default ringtone uses the friends playlist. I'd like now to describe the differences between the free and pro versions of ringtone. Ringtone Pro has 32 ringtones in total, including all the ones from the free version of the app. Ringtone Pro allows you to use these pre-installed ringtones in your own user-created playlist. To do this, you need to open the Export Track screen from the Options menu. This screen copies selected pre-installed ringtones to your phone's storage. Simply select the songs you want, and these will be copied over and made available in the Playlist Editor. For convenience, there's a button that allows you to export all of the Jackass Penguin Show ringtones at once. I'll use this now. Now I'll return to the playlist editor and add them. Now if I go up to the Add Multiple Songs button again, open the file, di file chooser, see how after we export the music, the Add Multiple Sounds screen now initially opens to show the exported ringtones. This makes locating them much easier. We'll add them all now at once. Ringtone Pro also introduces an extra setting so that you can specify how often the song is used before the next one is queued. This can be set across the app as a whole. Open the Options menu, go to Default Settings, select Number of Plays, and now here, if you change that number, will affect the setting. You can also change the setting on a per playlist basis. So if we go into the playlist editor for family, press the option, open the options menu, go to playlist settings, number of plays. Now if we deselect the use default settings option, 
we can set the number here to whatever value we wish and press OK. Another feature of Bringtone Pro is that you can randomize the order of your playlists. Open the options menu again and hit randomize playlist. Needless to say, Bringtone Pro is ad free and that when you upgrade from the free version, all your old playlists would be imported for you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy using Bringtone and Bringtone Pro.